Yeah. 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 Welcome everybody to tonight's regular meeting of the Board of Finance on uh, this Tuesday, December 14. I'd like to call to order the meeting and let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First agenda item, Mary, do you know, do we have anyone asking for public comment? Any? No. And I take it we don't have any public correspondence. Correct. There was one. Paula's letter was a we correspondence. Still, that's next. It's okay. Just, it, it was listed as a difference because I thought yeah. it was sent over as a correspondence. Yeah. Uh, correspond it's, it just happens to be separate correspondence from the tax collector. Right. I think for purposes of this meeting, there's nothing mm -hmm. here to action. It's just noted that she needs to uh, present the numbers at the January board. Uh, and if that meeting were to be canceled for, for whatever reason, she would need us to call a special meeting. So I believe with that, that brings us to the approval of the regular meeting minutes of November 9th as they were distributed in advance. Uh, entertain a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. I would like to make a motion to accept November 9th meeting minutes as presented. I'll second it. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, next uh, item on the agenda is the election of officers. Tom Charter requires that at this meeting we uh, elect officers for this board. We must elect a chair a vice chair and it's optional to select a secretary so let's start with nominations for chair chairman if i could um i first want to start with a statement and and, and it's going to be a short statement but i thought that the campaign was going to be the, the tough part after i won the election i'm talking about me personally i felt like leading up to tonight's meeting was the worst part of it um, Bobby Joe and I talked while we were running a campaign and we said to each other that we wanted this to be a non-political board and do the best for Bethel. And I think that so many people made it political outside of the seven people that vote here. And I just, I, it, we teach our children not to act like this. And I think so many different people from the outside just thought that they were going to control this board. And I, I just personally found it offensive. With that, I'd like to make a motion that Cynthia McCorkendale is a chairwoman. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? So I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with with John. Um, I'm gonna follow up with with John in the in the hopes that I I know we I think we're in a really good position here with the board that we currently have in place. Um, to do some really good things for Bethel. Um, I think we've got a very big, diverse um, points of view, very different, very strong backgrounds um, across the board um, from, you know, your current to so many different people's uh, viewpoints. And I, for one, I'm looking forward to working with all of you. And my hope is, is that, um, Cynthia, I'm going to be honest, I, I, I hope that you, you've got some serious experience um, in seeing this, and I'm really hoping that as a chairperson, um, that politics is going to be put aside, and that we're going to do, uh, we're going to do what's right for Bethel, and we're, as a, as a board, going to come together and not look at the chairperson as such powerful position and I'm really hoping that um, you know 
we can lead the board in the right direction. I'm not saying that it hasn't been, I don't in any way, shape, or form, um, but I'm hoping that, you know. Um, well, I would just say that if I were elected, I would take the position that as a chairperson, I would be facilitating the meeting. And I, I look at it as the members of the body have more power than the chair, or should, because it's not a position of power as much as it is, you know, organization and understanding and facilitating the meeting. So, um, and you know, you and I have talked, I, mm -hmm. I you know, my intention would be to do exactly what you said mm -hmm. and just, you know, come from it from a completely different, come to it from a completely different approach. Any further discussion? I'm good. I mean, you know, sometimes less is more, you know, I'm definitely disappointed how the last eight days went. Um, I think the right thing has happened. Um, and I think I'll just leave it at that. Mr. Chairman, if I may, if, if you would take the vote by roll call, so the um, minutes are appropriately or accurate, excuse me. Uh, Mary is here, we're all here, so she's going to be able to review it. Okay. <clears throat> so we've had a motion, we've had a second, we've had discussion. So votes on the motion. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, signify by saying nay. 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 Anyone? No, nope, no abstention. All right. The motion passed. Cynthia, congratulations. We're now the chair. I'll let you take over from. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, elect a vice chair. So I would like to nominate Nick Ellis. Second. Discussion. Discussion. Well, the only thing that I want to say, obviously, he's my twin brother, and I'm, I, you know, obviously, I would support him. <laughs> but during the during the campaign, when my picture first got on the piece of literature. It was all out there, and, and, and that was the first campaign that I was running, and I wasn't running as Nick Ellis' second. I was running as an individual. I think I love this town more than Nick does. Um, we could argue about that all day long. <laughs> but I want the board to know that I'm not a place stakeholder here. I am a voting member, and I'm really looking forward to being here and working with this entire board for the better of Bethel. Any more discussion? Okay. So, if I, if, oh, if, I'm sorry. Please, if, if I am elected, um, I, I promise to work closely with Cynthia uh, to you know, do whatever you ask me to do. And, um, I think you might want to rephrase that. <laughs> All right. Any more discussion? Okay. Uh, the motion is on for Nick Ellis as vice chairman. Everyone. Um, uh, Vote aye. Who wants to vote aye? Aye. aye. Are there any nays? Abstention. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, Nick Ellis. So the next thing on the agenda, and this is something we've discussed a couple of times, is the consideration of approval for the bid award for replacement of the two rooftop air conditioning and ventilation units at Bethel High School. So for discussion, should we make a motion? Anyone make a motion? I'd make a motion that we approve the, the ask of 274,000 uh, and not to exceed that dollar amount. And I would second that motion. Okay, discussion. Um, I just wanna say that uh, we, you know, we've already talked about this. But something that Mr. Terzian, Selectman Terzian, brought up at the meeting was um, if there is an overage, which my understanding was that there wasn't a contingency. So if, in fact, there is an overage, that it would come out possibly from the surplus for the 462 to 1%. Um, so I just wanted to say that uh, that would probably be fair. I think Dr. Yep. Gerber had, I think, a handout. Is that? No, it's not a handout. Oh, okay. just, just if there was questions about the history of, because I know some of the members are new, um, if there was questions about the history of these particular units and why we're here tonight. Um, but yes, we did we did talk about that with Terry. Um, we, we got very competitive bids. Um, yeah. In fact, so three the, of them were the, within $500, right? $250 for the two. Right. 
So we have to be really, I don't anticipate any change orders. Yeah. So it's that's why we didn't build in any kind of contingency. Mm -hmm. And because the bits were so close, obviously we we always critique anything that the construction company says is an overage anyway. Right. But you have we had to be extra special with this one because it is so close that we don't want to set ourselves up that oh they didn't put that in and now that it's a thousand dollars more and you were awarded to the wrong company. So we've done our due diligence on this company. Um, all the other towns that's worked with them that uh, really good things to say about them. We did so, reference checking. Yeah. yeah. So we don't anticipate a contingency. That's why we didn't build one. It's a pretty straight. This one is a pretty straight. Yeah. Project. I mean, it's okay if it, there's everything's possible. As you know. Yeah. So that's yeah. all. Absolutely. Even though yeah. there isn't, I understand so, why you didn't. Build yeah. It. So what I'm sure is if there is a overage of some kind, does it come back before the board of finance? Or no. What she's else? what she's essentially saying, we agree, is that we we have the one percent account. That right. That so, so you have a savings account. Yeah. <clears throat> we do. Yeah. So I, I guess the question is then, should we do an amendment to the motion? Right. Yes. Sure we do it to, to so well, be, well, um, but I put in 274 not to exceed that. Right. So, so, that want, right. so I, would, I would like to make a motion to amend yes. your motion to include that if there is no bridge, it comes out of the 1%. So it's on record. I, I so think we, that we need to amend it for that dollar amount. So the motion is not to exceed 274000 any um, change orders would come out of their one percent account. Right. Is that something that we would vote on? To me, that sounds. So we, we have to amend motion. Yes, okay, let's we do have that. Amend, okay. Amend motion. Yes. Any overage? And who seconded? Nick. Yeah. I, I seconded. Yeah. Nick took that in. Five. 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 Okay. So here's the amended <laughs> motion. Consideration of approval for the bid award for replacement of two rooftop air conditioning and ventilation units at Bethel High School in the amount not to exceed $274,000 with any overage paid by the Board of Ed. Is that okay? Yeah. All in state, are any more discussion? Yeah, I do. Um, it, Brad or uh, Dr. Finkel, can you speak of it? I, I, there's a big plan going on that, that's is. going to change uh, to make that whole school uh, finally have AC. And I know we had a conversation, there's one rooftop over the gym. And I just have a question before you. Was that a new rooftop when we did the thing 15 years ago and that one failed? And we're, and I understand the ductwork's all gonna stay the same. We're just dropping two units on top of the curb. For this particular project, there, there are two new units that are being dropped on. We've already repaired the ductwork that exists within that unit and it's been extensively studied. But to your point, Mr. Ellis, we are, in the, we are doing a master plan um, with uh, Eric, yeah. Yeah, Eric um, from Public Works, um, and it's a study of all of the deficits that weren't completed in the 2010 renovation um, to include ex expanding <coughs> the AC into different parts of the units. Our hope is, but we know it won't cover the cost totally, is we're going to use some of our ESSER funds. We have a little over a million um, dedicated to do that work. So um, that we're we're doing we're doing it in two phases. We're kind of doing a grand master plan, and then we're also um, uh, staging it so that once we get the initial um, uh, work that we can do with the amount that we have in the extra funding, we're going to start there. Um, and that's COVID money. Just it's COVID. Know. Yes. Um. It's the American. Uh, it's actually ALP. Uh, American Recovery Plan. Um. And so we're using a, I think it's 1.1 million. Uh, to to designate towards the HVAC because that's one of the primary purposes of the uses of those funds. Um, so we're uh, we I am going to tell you right now it's not going to cover all the needs <laughs> that that high school has in terms of the, the different units, but it is a good start in making a, a big chunk of it. Is that the is that about the units that that rose up? So there's 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 the ones that we're replacing that you just approved are over the auditorium and over the cafeteria. Um, and the ones so, over the gym, the ones who that that was a couple of years ago. Right. That but was three oh, So this was not this two seventy four is not the gym one. It's no. the auditorium and the cafeteria. The auditorium and the cafeteria. We did replace um, that in Matt, do you remember when, Brad? It was pre COVID. I know that I thought it was, it was like 20, 2016, 2017. Yeah. Like right. And that just completely failed. Um, right. the ones that we're looking at now mm -hmm. um, were um, uh, they were from 1995, and so they they were just not upgraded with a um, with a heat with the cooling coil. coil. Is that what you're saying? Uh, it, it, 
that was just heat, those rooftops in 95? No. It I had cooling it, in those? It did. Oh, okay. It did, because it was the auditorium and then the cafeteria. And uh, so they're 23 years old. Uh, to answer your question, in 2019, as part of the capital plan, um, $250,000 was approved for high school HVAC. I'm sure that was the, the gym unit. Mm -hmm. the gym unit. Okay. Um, and to add to what you said, the town side has ARPA or COVID money too. Right. And of that, the ARPA committee has committed earmarked 400000 to also help with this project. Right. Um, that's in top of the 274 that mm -hmm. you guys have to vote on. Yeah. <clears throat> and these pieces are all coming together to make a complete pie, basically. They are. We're making a lot of progress. Um, we really are. Uh, a million and a half, I would hope. <laughs> well, I mean, just over the past several years, we've had to do different things. We've had um, all the units recommissioned. This Board of Finance has supported that um, at all of our schools. Um, and then um, we'll, be in, we'll be in better shape once we complete the, the, the big project. Yeah. Um, the gentleman that's been working with Eric in Public Works, Ty, he's Eric. gone through all the schools, all their HVAC. He's the guy that they send through and check all the duct work. So they've done a ton of work on it. And him and Eric have worked on the master plan that's going to get that. It's we're going up to today. It's it, it, went, it went in the paper Monday. Excellent. So, so. Um, and then our hope, because we have to spend that uh, money before 2024. So we really wanted to get it out of bid soon um, so that we can start the process because um, we know from the supply chain and everything else, um, it may take time. And, and the, the reality is in schools, you only have the summer to do major work. So it's really prepping it up for that. But we hope we can put a big and mayor commissioning at night. Okay, is there any more discussion on this particular amended motion? Okay, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, well, that follows. And now it's time for the control issue report. All right. Uh, welcome, new board members. Congratulations, since you're next. Um, I will start by saying that Dan pointed out that these two sheets in the controller report. I didn't update after we adjusted the town budget. So I just adjusted it now. So you'll see that in the next month report. It's just the revenue was short the 750 that was added for the uh, road construction and the 100,000 for park and rec. Um, everything else stayed the same. Could you tell, tell us those figures just so I could write it on the Yeah, so $750,000 was added to low SIP revenue. No, it's grant money, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll yeah. Okay. And the $100,000 that the Board of Finance had approved for uh, transfer from fund balance for park and rec. Right. So I had adjusted the <coughs> expense side, I didn't do the revenue side. How and much was that again? The second third part? 100000 100, Yeah. Okay. Um, our collection rate at the end of November was 58.23, which is right in line where we expect it to be this time of year. Um, I think it's a little bit higher than prior year. Um, and then the only things that looked out of whack, well, I should go through them because we have some new board members. So uh, a couple items that usually look out of whack on this. One is probate. So what happens with probate, the town shares the cost with three of the neighboring towns. We don't bill them to the end of the year. So the town pays all the bills up front. In June, we bill the other towns. So that our budget of 6,000, it looks crazy that we spent 20,000. It's because we don't bother to bill them quarterly. So we'll get that at the end of the year. Um, insurance usually looks out of whack because the insurance companies for our workers comp and LAP, they want their money at the start of the quarter. So we made two payments on it, even though we're only five months through the year. Um, when we sit here in a month, we'll probably have made three payments and it'll look out of whack, but that's why. Um, the other one that usually can get a little out of whack is the road construction account. It's because most of the road construction is done in the summer. They're not out there doing a lot of it now. So it looks like percentage wise, we spent more than we should have at this time of year. Um, but it's just the nature of the account. Um, those are the main ones. Everything else is still right where we want it to be this time of year. Um, so I don't have any concerns at this point. 
I'd like to make a motion that we accept Brad's report. Second. Okay. All in favor? Or is there any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. There you go. Seeing there is no other item. Oh, yes. It's quite a privilege, if I might. Just, yes, you might. I just wanted to welcome the new members, congratulate Cynthia, congratulate Nick on your positions. Uh, we have ordered plaques for you, real ones, uh, for the new members. And I don't know if the materials are on a ship in Long Beach waiting to come off or what, but uh, they, they're extraordinarily long getting here. Dan Juice was ordered just the other day, so that uh, hopefully it won't take till next year to, to, to get them in. Um, but I just wanted to remind you, I sent an email to the board the other day about the new the CCM newly elected. One thing I hope uh, that uh, I, I want to really want to get more people, not, not only uh, elected people, but uh, some of the town employees, some of the town department heads, more involved in the CCM um, workshops because they're very, very valuable. Um, as I put in the email, uh, I think that the municipal budgeting workshop that Bob Kozlowski and I attended together in 2010 was probably the single most valuable thing I've done uh, in terms of getting up to speed on, on municipal work. Because yeah, it is it is quite different than, than private sector. The veterans on the board, I, I'm sure you, you, you know, you've been through this many times, but even, even at that, you, you might find some things that you didn't already know about. So the, the newly elected day is gonna be uh, on January 8th, and there's three classes that you do in rotation. Then there's gonna be another one, a backup on January 20th, which I think is gonna have a remote option, which would be just for the municipal budgeting. So if you can go, I really encourage you to do so. Um, I actually sent them an email to see if, because I'm not newly elected, so I didn't know if it was confined to that. No, 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 no okay. anybody, anybody can right. go. And if, even though you okay. had a lot of board experience, I, I would I'm, still- I'm, if, I would go. Yeah, if you can, if you can spare the time, yeah. it's worth it. It's really good stuff. And the 20th will have a remote option. I'm sorry? The 20th will have a remote option. Yeah, there's, a, there's one, I think it has a remote option. I'll, co I'll confirm that for you. Okay, shall we entertain a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All the folks who have been staying here all a, night. That's a little bit of a problem. That's like a little bit of a problem. She can put it in the middle. 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 She can put it in the